Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for the boys. Season 2, episode number 6. Uh, <laughs> well, sure. if you're laughing, be you sure. better be sure to hit that, that like, like button. button. If you're laughing like she is over here. Okay, don't forget. Featuring a couple comments from episode 5 before we jump into episode 6, starting with executive producer Lissette, who said, love the reaction, guys. Like I said, this was a bonkers episode, and I love everything about it. This is what I was afraid of since I found out the true nature of Stormfront. Also, Homelander and Storm Stormfront are an unstoppable couple. If it was just Homelander, you could have had a minuscule chance of stopping him with the help yeah. of Maeve, Kimiko, and Starlight combined. But with Stormfront by his side, it's not going to happen. No. I truly have no idea how they're going to defeat this team up. Also love Black Noir, Black Panther involvement this season. He is getting a lot of screen time, and I love it. Also, that Kim uh, Kimiko's scene was brutal and epic, and hopefully Frenchie will get through to her. Also, RJ and I had the exact same facial expression when Homelander killed everyone in the protest. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait for the next episode. <laughs> it's mind-blowing. Oh, I know he ain't fighting that crazy. Um, then a couple comments from YouTube, starting with Elena, who says, Apparently, they cast that dog specifically because it humped on command, but when it came to actually doing it when they needed it to, the dog <laughs> refused. Oh. That made me laugh so much because I was thinking of, I don't know if you guys seen the movie Click, but that dog goes in too. Um, Blue Sky, I can't believe how much better the season is compared to season one. I read that Eric Kripke said they were focusing more on character development this season, and you can absolutely see that. Really excited for season three whenever we get it. Um, and then Amani Burton says, great reaction. So I noticed in a couple episodes that you've been wearing a Superman shirt. And since you've been reacting to the boys, you might like Smallville. Smallville. It's a reimagining of Superman growing up yeah. in the early 2000s. The ni dynamic between Superman character and Lex Luthor is really good stuff. It's a bit of a commitment for the whole show, but a few episodes would be great on Hulu. I've actually seen most of Smallville. Yeah. I think you've, you've seen some of it, too. Mm -hmm. Um... Carl Matrix comes through to say the potato peeling scene was so gory. LOL. Oh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> C. Bricklin says, uh, Fun fact, the actor who plays A-Train said in interviews after the show that Aya Cash, the actress who plays uh, Stormfront, had a really hard time doing that scene and constantly kept apologizing to him saying, I'm so sorry, after every line, and that he really had to convince her hard to really lean on being nasty because he otherwise wouldn't be able to muster the emotional response he needed in response. I thought that was such a great point because I was like, there's no way I would want to play her part yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I well, I'm glad she, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, that's a nice thing. She's been nice about it, like. Oh, he goes on to say, I Cash, by the way, is Jewish. Just let that sink in for mm. a while. Okay. And let it marinate when you see what her character Stormfront reveals about herself in this next episode. Mm. She's a fantastic actress and a great person in real life to boot. And right up there with Anthony Starr in terms of playing such convincing, horrible characters who are nothing like they are in real life. Okay, very I mean, good. that's definitely kudos to her character because yeah. I couldn't do it. Yeah, yeah. She's doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, she's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Ziploc Archives comes through to say, watching married people argue over names is funny. But yeah, it's Stan Edgar. So you fucking got it right. I I almost didn't read these two comments yeah. because <laughs> I was so annoyed um, <laughs> that Havoc comes through also to say RJ is right. It's Stan Edgar. Yeah, it's, it's Edgar. Not Edgar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Alright, but I'm excited. Everyone's been hyping up this next episode. Let's get to it right now. It's a really good point. Oh my god. I hate them being a team. Sometimes it feels like, like the justice system just doesn't work anymore. Everyone always recording on their phone all the time. Mm -hmm. It's like you can't even do your, your job, job anymore. <laughs> please, please, take me in. Just take me in, please. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Damn. Oh, gosh. Damn. Going to shark and fish the waters without chum. What you thought was gonna happen? This is who I am. Who are you? Brave made pride boss. Because you can't be proud on an empty stomach. Because <laughs> you can't be proud on an empty stomach. Horrible. So bad. 
fucking idiot. You were supposed to call first. Did anyone see you? I'm allowed to visit my friends. Did you find it? No, sorry. Ashley, what? I can't find her. Who the fuck is Starlight? Hey, Hater face. Fucking hate it. It is face. an arrested bitch face for sure. Yo, here comes A Train. What? What? <laughs> I'm right here, buddy. Over here. <laughs> What's yeah. up, buddy? Good to see you. What's you doing, man? Ah, not much. Just here to see you. Uh, no reason. Really? That doesn't make sense. Her. Her. Oh, no, she's CIA. That's how this is. But I'm yeah. saying this eight years ago. Yeah, so they all work for CIA. Root. <laughs> That's why they all know her as um, commander or. Yeah, but they don't work for them directly. No, they always indirectly work for him. Um, Butch worked for him for real. Before all the drama. Yeah. But I'm saying, we didn't um, know French, she worked directly with her. We've never even seen that. No, we never seen changes. that, but we knew they all knew. I her. mean, if we're showing this right now, it has to be significant. Yeah, Why show this in a flashback? Mm. Seeing social guys. What's wrong with them? Easy. <laughs> Okay. Oh shit. Do you remember that extra helping of craft? Shells and cheese that I snuck you? I like you. You know that, right? Who are your friends? We ain't his friends. Go ahead, fuck his ass up. Go ahead, fuck his ass up. <laughs> To a doctor. Come here, how? Oh, big ass EMP. here and watch him fucking will bleed out. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. Come on. Uh, uh, what about the others? They're on their own. All right, well. I'm gonna go run lines around with an arm. It's in 48 tonight. I'm gonna get Something wrong? No. Nothing. You sure? Why would anything be wrong? I went to the tower, and uh, you weren't there. I fantasize about drowning you over and over again. But I just I tell the truth. I feel that way anymore. I want to be clean. Oh boy, looks like we got ourselves a good old truth exchange. Hey, what the hell is going on here? Huh? You all are juicing people with motherfucking compound V, only to burn them alive. Why? Maybe I just like watching people burn. Them. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it says this is like a can. What the fuck are you laughing at? Sorry, man. 
You just look like one of them Ponzi baton twirlers. A majorette. That's right, a fucking majorette. Majorette. <laughs> Please don't pretend like you have a choice. I look forward to your call. There you go, guys. Stay back. Whoa! Okay. You said stay back. That's not necessary. Let's just talk. Be I? You're really you're even American. Was it, is it even her? Was it some kind of scam? Just put the gun down. I said stay back. I said put it down. Hmm. Yes, my powers came back. It's not just like took it from the car. Oh. No. No what? No to that fucking look of quiet respect or approval or whatever that is. I don't want it. Okay, so thousand more soups, hundred thousand. Why? Why would Vaughn do that? It's gonna fuck up their movies, their merchandising. Okay, don't tell me. They just make me burn the evidence. Let me go. Let me go answer the door. Oh, she ran out the door. Oh, that's what more of the big. Uh, oh my God! Is that what that is? Is that what that is? It is. Fucking disgusting. She punches at the bossy. Babe, babe. I'm circumcised too. You can burn that evidence. What was that? Yeah. He's okay. That's his fucking bag. Was it? I'm so close minded. They knew that would happen. I thought you said that shit was gonna work. I said I thought it would. Yeah, I said I thought it would. I'm sure some of them got out before lockdown. Where's Dr. Carlton? Uh, he was in the cafeteria and the hallway and someone walked. The queen made the cut of leaving us. Hey, did you say sugarfish? She was trying to help, though. I love you. Tell the boys I love them. I know I should have stood up to him. I know that. Elena, I watched a plane full of people die. Why are you looking at me like that? Man, I think they're going to believe with him. I think this man restrained. No need, I wanted to come. I don't want to hear a single goddamn word from you. This is so sucks. I will never lie to you again. I will tell you everything. Starting with this. Are you with Heinrich Himmler? He was a lovely dancer. And that's Goebbels. And the most important man in the room. Goddamn. I mean, goddamn. Richard Vaughn. Yeah. She is married to him. He gave me the first successful yeah. knee injection. And then we fell in love, and he gave me a daughter. He made me. And his genius made you. He came walk. This is like fucking him Frederick up. didn't care about all the fans or stardom or any of that shallow bullshit. We are in a war for the culture. The other races are grinding us down and taking what is rightfully ours, but we can fight back. 
And now neither of us has to be alone ever again. And that is the truth. Oh, fucking hell. I thought he might... Thank you for being a friend. Oh, I thought he might, like, not accept it because he's, like, pro-American. Like... This is a fucking hot mess. Shit. Alright, that was episode 2-6 of the boys and wow 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 okay that question has been answered for me about mr vaught back in the day and now it makes even more sense by why um um storm is who why, she is who she is she's she's a racist hater person from the nazi time in germany makes total sense now she was the very first one he taught her everything um that he knew about the vibe which is why she's so super special um, that, that's that's freaking crazy right there, Frenchy. We got some of his backstory on there. Um, I like to see that him and Kamiko are making you know some strides on there. Butcher came through again, showing his true side of he does care about um, um, Huey. Huey, and now he got some respect for Starlight as well. So I mean, it was a lot going on in this episode, but damn, them soups that got out in the prison over there, that was that fight was, was that was good. I mean, that was really good. Homelander getting pissed off. No, I, and I'm right. You're right, baby. I thought he was going to fucking just burn her ass or break her down or something. Just be mad. Like, I'm not going to do no Nazi shit over yeah. here in, in America. But nope. Homelander is who Homelander is, and shit is going to get interesting. Also with Lamp, Lamp Lantern. Now he come back full circle around for what we've seen before. Um, looks like he might be a part of the team even for a little while or just like a sacrificial lamb he could be. And then you got A-Train now probably is probably about to be indoctrinated into the damn church of light or whatever that they got going on over there. So I don't really know what's going on with the church part. That's probably later on down the line. But we got other things that's happening right now like this crazy ass psycho suit that just got out who's free in the world now. I mean, I don't know so, how relevant that is, but, or... Well, they showed it for something. Yeah, so, so I mean, it can, might be just one little time. Again. Yeah, yeah it's one, one little time. time. But I love this episode, man. So there you go, episode six. Two episodes left, right? Yep. It's eight? Yeah, so, man, shit's about to get cray-cray, because shit is already starting to build up to be crazy everywhere. So, can't wait to see more. Yeah, so this is a fully packed episode from start to finish. Yeah. They put a lot in there. I always, I always appreciate... Um, when we get to see other powers and the way they, you know, are creative and what type of different powers people potentially can have, I always like these kind of episodes because I'm yeah. always like super intrigued by that. Um, so that was a lot of fun. That was great to see. I mean, the whole idea behind Vought creating the, trying to perfect their serum so that adults can take it. So essentially everybody that takes it's going to have powers and they can tap into that is effing crazy especially mm -hmm. now with the full revelation of who stormfront is and what the the end goal of bot is supposed to be anyway they're trying to take over the world yeah um so to speak i was a little bit uh disappointed in uh homelander not like because he's so like up until this point, it's just been America, 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 fuck everybody else. I mean, I can see how he could, how it would play to his ego, especially the way she delivered the news to him. Like, you're mm -hmm. the forefront. You're going to be, so like, I get all that, but it still would have been, it would have made sense from the writer's perspective if he did, in fact, not agree to it. Like, that would have made sense in the yeah. writing, too. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as far as. Everything that happened this episode, I thought it was super lit. It was super packed. So much things to do. Um, and it's interesting to see uh, <laughs> uh, uh, them looking over Huey and, like, having that moment of connection. Like, he's yeah. this innocent little baby kid. Yep. And we're just, we're not good enough for him. So, yeah. um, I did like the backstories, too, with the colonel and the kids. It, it took it took me a minute to figure out, like, what are we doing here? But I'm glad uh, we got that full circle, that full story. And I think, yeah, Frenchie letting go of that weight of trying to save Kamiko. And his friend, too. Um, it's going to allow done. her to be like, yo, I don't I don't need to be saved. Like, that's not what I want in a relationship. So maybe that opens up other potential doors. Like, I don't mm -hmm. need to save you. And that's why I keep pushing you back. Because everybody else in your crew treats yeah. me like a normal person. Yeah. You treat me like this broken bird. Yeah. And I'm and not. 
And I keep thinking that at some point that it's going to be that right moment where she speaks. Because we know she can talk. Because her brother already said that she can talk. She just stopped talking one day. Remember after the drama? Mm -hmm. So something is going to be probably big enough for her to yell something or say something. Frenchie! It'll probably be the first word. And then that's going to be lit. So that, that's going to be real good. Yeah. And yeah. when she gets her... I hope I hope she gets to take out Stormfront too. Because she deserves <laughs> it. Like, yeah. They're, they're building that, too, so they haven't had a face-off, but that's coming yeah, as well. That's going to be real Solid good. Solid episode. Yep. All right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for the boys. Season 2, episode number 6, and until next time, people, peace.